GM and welcome back to the channel. In this video, taking a look at Fuel Network, we're gonna actually download the wallet, hunt for some airdrops on here because this could potentially be a nice airdrop play that we had as well and see what it's all about. And on top of that, I'm gonna provide you the TLDR of what the heck this is. As ever, if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So Fuel is focused on building the fastest execution layer for modular blockchains. On screen, you can see the difference between monolithic blockchains and modular blockchains, i.e. the likes of Ethereum versus new chains coming out that are modular by design like Celestia. As you can see from this, Fuel would be in the middle here, the modular execution layer. So what's the main benefit over a monolithic chain? Well, if you just think about your own user experience on Ethereum, you've probably had some time where maybe you wanted to do a token swap on ETH mainnet, maybe use Uniswap, but whilst you were trying to do that elsewhere on the network, there was say an NFT mint for some random metaverse project. And all of a sudden the gas costs are a few hundred bucks, which is rather annoying to you as you don't even care about the metaverse project. So on the right hand side, the modular approach, you have the smart contracts, the execution layer and the consensus and data layer all separate. This means a lot greater bandwidth for this structure and so you wouldn't get those same type of pinch points when you've got a lot of activity for a particular dApp say at one time. Now you can see from this there's a lot of supporters for this tech. A lot of big brains in the industry are actually behind it and also supporting this one. So if we just go to here, the core of the team you have John Adler, Nick Dodson and Alex Hansen. Some of these guys have previously worked for Consensus. John Adler was part of the creation of the Optimus roll-up technique and he's also the co-founder of Celestia as well. So you've got some real giga brains behind this which makes it very interesting to me and something I want to experiment with. So let's jump into it. So this is still in the very early stages. There is just testnet functionality at the moment. There's not many dApps actually built on it at this point in time. Not a lot to do and you can see from the overall ecosystem here, just a few names and some of these websites aren't even live as yet. You can see, of course, they're gonna have some NFTs on here. There's gonna be NFT marketplaces and NFT collections. Fuel Punks, this will be one that I want to add. They haven't even tweeted yet. So this just shows you how early we are. And if you just go over to their Discord page, what interaction methods do Fuel currently have? First and foremost, Sway Swap. This is like the Uniswap, but over on Fuel. It says it's the first official DEX, still in demo mode. It's an automatically generating one-time burning address, no mnemonic that you can save. So it just instantly creates you a wallet and you can play around with it, which we will do in just a moment. Then we have the Fuel Extension Wallet, which we're going to download and add for you guys. And also Sway Lend, a borrow lend protocol, again on testnet only. So you're about to get your first experience with the Fuel Virtual Machine as we demo some of these products here. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit buggy, it's still in testnet, but it is exceptionally quick. These guys have taken essentially ETH's EVM as a base layer and made modifications to it. The smart contract language is called Sway, and it's a bit of a hybrid, a combination of the likes of Rust, Solidity, Facebook's Move language, and also Wasm. So let's crack on and download the wallet. I'll leave the link down below. Wallet.fuel.network is the web address up here. You go to install and you can go to download Fuel Wallet by there or by there. You're gonna click on that and then you're gonna see the download down here. What you then need to do is add it to your extensions. So you go to your extensions tab and then go to manage extensions if you're on Chrome and you will need to ensure that developer mode is enabled. So you'll probably have to tick that across. And then when you have the download at the bottom, if I can just grab it for you, you can see the download down here. You would actually just pull that and drag it on here. That is how you get it to appear in your extensions. So once you've done that, you wanna add it as an extension up here. So add it to your extension bar and then you're gonna be able to set up your wallet. So from here, it's gonna give you a 12 word seed phrase. You need to write that down on paper, make sure that is extra safe. And then it's also gonna ask you for creation of a password as well to actually get into the wallet. So again, copy that down on paper only and you should be good to go. I'll just log into this wallet real quick and yours should look a little bit like this. As you can see, testnet beta two is the current network. So the next thing to do, if we just scroll to how to use, you wanna connect your wallet to this main website. So you click connect and it says by here connected. And from here, we then want to get some testnet 
ETH. So you go to the faucet page, click on that. It then populates your address. It makes sure that you're not a robot, do a capture, and then click on give me ether. Rather annoyingly at the time of filming, this is actually down. I've checked on Discord, they're having a few technical issues over the past few days. But this video, hopefully by the time I put it out, this should be working and it will give you 0.5 ETH directly to your wallet. Next up, we'll come to Sway Lend. This is the only protocol currently on the test net. You're either gonna see the dashboard here as soon as you come here, click connect wallets and then down to fuel wallets. You may get your wallet popping up asking you to connect. If you can't see the accept button, you might need to just drag this a little bit bigger, but mine is just logging in here. And from here, you can see the list of collateral assets available on Sway Lend. And if you have any testnet tokens at this point in time, you can play with them on here, supply them to these various markets, say it's ETH, and just make a few interactions on here. Then we have SwaySwap, essentially the Uniswap of the Fuel network. And here you can see the main app page and you just click on launch app. From here, this is just gonna create a one-time burner wallet for you, for you to interact with this network and see how the Fuel VM actually works and how quick it is. You just click on create wallets, add some test ETH, complete the capture, which is always a good bit of fun, and then give me ETH. It'll give you some funds to get started. You then have to tick the disclaimer here and then get swapping. So from here, you can see you've just been given 0.5 ETH on this random burner wallet. So what I would do is swap some ETH to the only other asset available, which is some DAI here. We're gonna swap 0.25 ETH to 270 DAI, press swap, and it is finalized straight away, very, very quick. Then we're gonna to go to pool as well, add liquidity, max on DAI, and add that liquidity as an LP here on this little test net. You can see once again, transaction has been submitted successfully very, very quick. So back on the ecosystem page then, you can see there's a variety of dApps being built on here. None of them actually live, very little of them actually on testnet as yet. So I would just recommend getting some testnet ETH onto your fuel wallet, playing with Swayland, doing what I've just shown you on Sway Swap, and checking back in here on say a weekly basis to see what has been updated. Complete as many transactions as we can on this network over a sustained period of time to get us in good position for a potential airdrop. There is a token for Celestia. These guys here at Fuel raised like 80 million bucks. No token announcement as of yet, but I highly suspect there will be an airdrop and a token further down the line. And often the airdrops are best when they're not incessantly asking you to come and participate on the network. You can interact with this while not many people are talking about it and put yourself in a good position, in my opinion. So that's all for this quick video. Check out Fuel, check out the web pages I'll leave down below in the description and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.